Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we have a quick review video of a couple of um, pieces of test equipment now these pieces of test equipment were kindly sent over by Zotec Instruments or Zoe Instruments so thank you very much much appreciated and we'll give them a, a test but before we start don't forget to like share subscribe comment join Facebook group join Patreon all that lot and let's get started so I've been using this ZT703S for a bit and I've been very impressed with it and um, I bought this meter and um, after buying the meter uh, the people at Zotec or Zoe Instruments must have seen my video and they reached out to me and said we like your video would you like to review a couple of our other products so I thought yeah okay so they let me choose a couple so this is what we have we've got a digital multimeter and an LCR bridge tester so first let's have a look at the digital multimeter now this is a, a budget unit so it's um, very cheap on some of the um, websites you can find so in the box we have manual we have leads a uh, temperature probe obviously the meter and a couple of batteries as well so we'll give all these a quick test see how it performs so let's have a look at the meter so yeah as you would expect from a budget unit it's nice compact nice and lightweight the reason I chose this one was for the size of the screen I quite like to have a look at the size of the screen so underneath the stand at the back we have the battery compartment that takes two batteries that were supplied with it pop the screw in the back would have been nice if the screw was captive but it's okay and yeah have a nice nice big clear display all the necessary buttons on the front which we'll go through in a moment but you know I think it would be rude to test it first instead of taking it apart so let's take it apart and have a look at inside so yeah have a nice blob chip on the back some other components and the buzzer a couple of fuses and yeah everything seems okay there nice big current shunt okay everything just looks fine in there I'm not going to take it apart any further than this just wanted to have a nosy inside see what it was like let's have a look at the meter leads Okay, not as long as other ones, but they do feel okay. Not sure whether they're full silicon, but yeah, they seem okay. Nice pointy tip, and you can pull the insulator off the end for a bit longer. Okay, very nice. And this is the temperature probe. So we'll give that a try in a few moments. But yeah, should be okay for stirring your coffee and checking how hot your coffee is. So we'll turn it on and we'll just do a comparison against a, a um, how can we say, slightly more expensive meter. And yeah, it's reading my bench power supply quite nicely. So everything's good there. So you can auto range and manual range it. Obviously millivolts has overflowed. Volts has overflowed because we're over 10. I'm going to that range. And yeah, it's showing. Showing pretty much what my other meter's showing. So yeah, all good there. So we're just going to adjust the bench power supply. See how quick it responds. 
and it is responding quite nicely as you can see at the top of the meter it does say it's got 9999 counts so it is responding quite quickly and yeah seems to be quite accurate yeah very good okay that seems to be all fine so we have got a capacitor test on this so let's read this capacitor yep seems good seems pretty accurate that's fine let's read that capacitor nicely let's see how quick it responds to a, a variable resistor and yep no problem I must say the update on the display is very quick on this yeah that's fine I think this is a yeah, 50k pot with it being a B pot it's a linear pot not a log pot so yeah Now the all important continuity check. Checking the bleeper or the buzzer. See how quick that responds. And yes, nice and quick, nice and fast on the continuity check. Not like some meters where you put the probes together and a short while later it bleeps. This is pretty much instantaneous. So yeah, fantastic. So we've got our other meter outputting a one kilohertz signal and we've got this on frequency and as you can see it's reading one kilohertz. And now for the temperature probe. So I'm just holding it in my hand. And as to be expected, normal bodily temperature. But let's put something a little bit more. A little bit hotter on it should we say so i'll just switch my solder iron on we've got it set to about 350 degrees as you can see it's going up and up so yeah it's pretty close i don't know how accurate my uh, display is on the soldering station but it's it's round about right so yeah that's good temperature probe works nicely fantastic I'll just put it in my air con to see how cold it is Just put the probe inside the aircon. And yeah. Seems to read that okay. Okay, let's use the probes. Do some continuity checks. Yep, very quick, very responsive. Which is what you want from a continuity check. You want something that's nice and quick well, let's see how, how good it is reading components on the board yeah it's pretty close that's supposed to be a 10 microfarad um, SMD component yeah it's reading those okay well, you know reading components in circuit is always a bit iffy but yeah yeah, it's read all those okay let's have a go at some components on the circuit board so we've got a diode there that we're going to try and try and measure it does help if you switch it to diode there we go onto diode so one way around you would expect it to show nothing and the other way around 
it shows the voltage drop across the diode, which is absolutely correct. Yeah, okay. Reads that quite nicely. Trying to get a diode with a, a lower drop there. And yep, yeah, reads that okay. Let's see if we can read a component in circuit. This was supposed to be a 4.7 microfarad, but it is in circuit. And also the capacitor may be out of tolerance. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Like I say, it is in circuit and, you know, all the components can influence the reading. So yeah, true RMS, 9,999 counts. Plenty of tests on it. Auto ranging. So yeah, for a nice, um, a nice budget meter, it's quite, um, it's quite feature packed. So yeah, very nice. So you can see all the, um, what it can read there. So yeah, for a budget meter, yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Now, don't try this at home, kids. I'm just going to put it straight into 250 volts or 240. And there you go, 245 volts and 50 hertz at the top, which is correct for UK mains. Like I say, please don't do this at home. Leave sticking probes into um, IC plugs to the professionals but yeah reads that perfectly true rms 50 hertz 245 volts ac beautiful let's do a current test so i've got my current limited supply on about 300 milliamps yep so it's reading current just fine let's um, crank the supply up to 3 amps and there we go reading 3 amps current no problem at all oh, fantastic ok obviously you got a hold function so you can hold it hold the display and if you're not using the meter for a few minutes, it will bleep and auto power off. Okay, very nice. So I think all in all, for a budget test meter, this is um, it's quite good. It's got a nice clear display, nice viewing angle on it. It's got plenty of um, basic features. You see there, viewing angle is absolutely clear there's one spot where it just that uh, i think that might be the camera but yeah all in all very good very bright as well at night and very clear in normal light as well so all in all for a, a budget meter i think it performs quite well that's all the features you would need for doing basic checks. AC, DC, continuity, some component tests, frequency tests. So, all in all, quite happy with that. And there it is against my 703S, which is obviously the oscilloscope meter, which is also a fantastic piece of kit as well. And as you can see on the right there, we have the LCR meter, which is able to read components in circuit. So we'll be reviewing that next. And see what it can do. But anyway, 
thanks for watching if you like the video don't forget to like share subscribe comment all that have a look at the uh, website zotectools.com if you want to buy one of these meters thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode